Yo, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm starting off in like a new area today. Uh, normally I'm, you know, in the shop or outside or something, but I'm actually inside, um, this is kind of like my office, I guess, my dad just kind of made for me. Um, he has his office back here. Um, you know, it's in there. But anyways, he's got, you know, we got like a sink and a toilet and all. Um, but anyways, uh, he wanted to make me a little area because um, I'm going to be helping him out a lot um, coming up here soon on some cool car stuff and uh, RV stuff and um, stuff. I'll talk more about that later. Um, so anyways, it's kind of nice because it's AC, um, you know, it's all good like that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's kind of cool. Kind of excited about it. But uh, anyways, back to the real stuff. Um, I actually just got some new stuff for my 240. Not much. <laughs> it's actually just uh, just some ro new rotors and some new brake pads. Um, but I guess that's better than nothing. So uh, let's go ahead and get these opened up. It's pretty heavy. Um, but actually, I forgot that I even ordered these and they just randomly showed up today and it kind of surprised me. Um, I'm not a professional unboxer, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this however I want. See if I can set this up to where you guys can see. And of course that's not going to work. Well, awesome. Alright, anyway. Let me uh, go ahead and take this stuff out. I'm gonna just take it out and then I will uh, turn back on the camera because this is hard to do. Okay, so here they are, got them all unboxed and they are drilled and slotted rotors um, for you know front and rear. And then I also got some uh, ceramic pads to go with them. I'm not sure how these are gonna be. Um, they weren't the most expensive, but they're definitely better than these nasty old stock pieces of junk. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. They should help a lot, though, because, like I said, I'm four, I'm still four-lug. So, you know, and I already got these wheels, so I don't really want to go five-lug. Um, so this is kind of going to be, like, the, I don't know, like the best option I have right now, I guess. Because, uh, you know, I already put some, some new brake fluid in there. I already flushed everything. Um, now I just, you know, have to change the pads and the, the rotors. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and um, throw those on there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you guys like one wheel, but I'm not going to do every single one of them because it's super simple. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys that. And then, um, yeah, show you guys what it looks like once they're all on. So, also guys, I just want to show you something that I got yesterday. Uh, I'm pretty excited to use it. Um, I got the, it's a, it's a Milwaukee. And uh, let's open it up and see. Boom. I actually was trying to get the new milwaukee uh fuel or m18 fuel but they didn't have that one and i was also trying to get the dewalt 20 volt um xr brushless uh but they also didn't have that one but this one's still fine it's pretty much the same thing it's just brushed instead of brushless but it's a uh um one eighth uh impact driver um so as you can see i have the uh, the three fourths you know bit on the end um, it's an 18 volt lithium ion. It's pretty sweet. So I'll be using this one a lot. Um, and I'll be doing, you know, like a review or whatever on that. But I'm super excited to use it. You guys know I love the, uh, the, you know, electric, um, impact guns. I have like, I have the big half inch driver, uh, impact gun over here, but it's just so big, like for little stuff. Um, like for example, like taking off these rotors and stuff, or brake pads and stuff. Um, you know, I can easily fit that one behind the, uh, the brake caliper and, un you know, undo the bolts. So, uh, I just love that. And then, the second thing I got was a jump box. It's a, um, Black & Decker something another. But, uh, anyways, it's got a, um, area light. It's got USB and, like, a cigarette lighter thing. It's got, um, an air compressor. It's got outlets. Um... And uh, so yeah, so I'm pretty excited to use that too. I figure, you know, with the 240 builds and all, um, I don't want to have to sit there cranking and cranking, and, you know, on the on the battery or whatever. And you know, maybe it, or it might might die or something. So went ahead and I bought one of those. Um, so we'll see how that works too. I'll also show you guys that. But um, so yeah. Anyways, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the rotors.
Okay guys, so what you'll need to do this is um, obviously take off the wheel, then you will need a 14 millimeter socket or uh, wrench, and then you'll need a C-clamp to uh, compress the piston. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take off this caliper. right back. Alright, I'm back. I had the wrong size socket. Uh, but anyway, go ahead and take off the two bolts on the back of the caliper. Uh, You don't have to remove the brake line or any of that, because if you do that, you will have to uh, re-bleed the brakes, which you don't want. But just wiggle the caliper off. Like so. And then, I don't know how well you guys can see this, um, but what you'll want to do is go ahead and attach your C-clamp to the back of this and to your piston right here, and um, just uh, go ahead and push it in. Um, you push it in because the new brake pads are thicker, so you've got to make room for the new brake pads. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will start it back up. Okay, and this is how you do it. You basically just set it up on the top, and then put it in there. And once you uh, crank it down, it literally just goes in super easily. The back, they're actually a different type of piston. You actually have to push it in and turn it at the same time. I just use vice grips, push it in a little bit and then turn it with the, the vice grips, but they do make different C-clamps that turn it like while pushing in. Um, so if you want to spend the money, you can do that, but it's not necessary. So anyways, um, next step is to uh, go ahead and remove the bracket and the, uh, the rotor. So let's do it. All right, and then to remove the bracket, um, all it is is two 19 millimeter uh, bolts on the back, and I'm not able to get to it with my impact gun, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those two bolts off, and then, yeah. All right, so this is almost out. Um, just gotta take the bolts out real quick. It's so hot, guys. Okay. That bolts out, and then this whole bracket. This comes right off. And uh, you've got your old brake pads in here. You don't need them. Um, if you, I mean, well you do if you don't, if you didn't get new ones, but I got new ones. So anyways, this just slides right off like that. So there's the old um, rotor. And now, let me go grab the new rotor and I'll show you guys putting that on. Okay, so the way that you can tell which one's front and which one's back, the front is like pretty much double. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's pretty much double. The other one doesn't have two plates, it just has one. So that makes sense. Then you just go ahead and slide the new one on. Dang, that looks good, boy! And then you pretty much just uh, reverse. So now what you want to do is go ahead and remove your brake pads from your um, bracket. They just uh, pull right out. I'm like over here dri dripping sweat, oh my god. Um, I'm actually gonna clean this little bracket up real quick before I put it back on. Uh, so let me do that real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. And I actually went ahead and painted this black uh, to match the calipers. Uh, obviously you don't have to do that, but I did. So anyway, you want to go ahead and attach this back on there. Like so. Get your two bolts. Okay. Put this 
bolt back in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down and then I'll show you guys how to put the, uh, the new brake pads in. And that's pretty much it. You just gotta put back on the caliper and this side's done. All right, I haven't tightened it down all the way, but basically all you have to do is slide it in. that and then this side just slide that in like that okay and then uh, go ahead and tighten it down and then you'll put the caliper on so I think I just said that but I'll show you guys how to do that once it's tightened up just grab your brake caliper and since you compressed it, it should slide right back over. Just like that. All right. And then what you want to do is put the two bolts in the uh, caliper and then this side is completed. So let me go ahead and show you how that looks. Boom. That looks so much better than before. Oh, I haven't taken off the wheel yet but you guys can probably see it inside of there. It's all nasty and rusty looking. Um, and also, it's gonna stop a lot faster. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put these two bolts in and then finish the other sides, and then we will be good to go. All right, everybody, it is finally finished. Um, I'll do a little walk around so you guys can see. Everything is on, brake pads. Um, rotors. I just have to uh, put the wheels back on and then I'll be good to go. Um, but as you guys can see, ooh, that looks like a good thumbnail picture right there. Boom. But yeah, anyways, guys, as you guys can see, they're on, everything's on. Um, I just want to give you guys a little tip, I guess. Um, the front is a lot easier than the back, um, and it's because of these, uh, these retainer clips. Um, what they do, they're not needed necessarily, but what they do is uh, keep it from, keep, like, whenever like, you're going and like, reversing and then going back to forward, it uh, keeps it from making noise and clunking and shit. Um, and as you can see on this one, I only have the bottom one, I don't have the top one. Um, I literally could not get both of those to save my life. This side, I got them both in, and then same with the front, I got them both in, so I kind of feel bad. I kind of want to take it off and then uh, try it again, but I literally tried for about an hour, and I just couldn't do it to save my life, um, so I'm not sure why. Um, if it's a big deal, then, you know, I might uh, take it off and redo it, um, but anyways, everything's on. Pretty excited. They look super good, and uh, I'm sure they're going to stop a lot better. Um, but anyways guys, throw down in the comments below what you guys think, and uh, hit the big thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button, um, you guys will probably see the giveaway video right after this one, um, I'm thinking, so, uh, stay on the lookout for that, oh, and also let me just show you real quick what time it is, it's, uh, 12.45, so I'm super tired. It's so late. I actually a couple of my friends actually showed up and uh, So I just kind of just chilled and I don't know and plus that clip took forever but Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling cuz I need to get home um, So yeah, talk to you guys in the next video. Peace So with that being said since it is 2,000 subscribers and I did tell you guys that I would be doing another giveaway at 2,000. I'm not sure if I can turn right here, but we are about to do it anyway.